Hello, this is Frank. I'm Michael. And we're with How Do I Hack, and we're going to do a quick lecture on matrices, because we have usage of an active board today, thanks to our school. Yeah, our school. Thank you. So, send them big messages. So, first, we're going to do a 2 by 3 matrix. I'm just going to show you guys what one will look like. It'll be one, sorry, let me do my brackets. One, two, Talk a little three. What? Talk a little louder, so they can hear you. We're not, using, we're not using a regular mic, so yeah, hopefully this comes out good. And that's the 2 by 3 matrix. So what you can do is you can add matrices like this. So I'll go ahead and make another one. What is a matrix, Frank? A matrix is pretty much any sequence of numbers. Um, they can be used to make pictures and music, particularly in programming. Um, with matrices, you can take a fully colored picture and turn it black and white in a second just by doing a simple programming function and doing minus 100 or whatever the scale is for the picture colors. Okay. And you can also change the pitch of music, which is really cool to do. The what? Pitch. Oh, like uh, using a voice editor thing? Yeah. Alright guys, so yeah, you're just going to add some matrices. I personally don't know jack shit about matrices. Uh, we're just here after school, yeah, because we have an awesome teacher who just let us stay in our classroom. So all that will equal... Well, how do you do it? Okay, so this number will be added to that number. So it just adds to wherever it is? Yeah. It's really simple, but a lot of people don't understand it unless you see it. Oh, right. So. 16, 18, 21. Sorry for the no little amount of spaces. This is like my first time using an active board. Yeah, we're kind of new to this whole fancy, fancy technology shit. And there you go. That's your first matrix. I just pressed the um, And then next, we can you can subtract with matrices, although it's a little harder to wrap your mind around. So we'll just cover that really quickly, and that'll be the next episode. So I'll just leave it easy. Here. Do the exact opposite. Six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, like this. I got oh. you. Like yeah. This. yeah. That way the numbers are relatively low. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so what do you do? So it's pretty much the same exact thing with addition, except whenever it gets more complex and you have a negative sign involved, um, you have to add them as well, which is different than if you're doing that. Can we do one of those next? We can do it now. Uh, let's do it, guys. We got this. <laughs> so negative 5. One, one, three, and then we add that number because it's a subtraction sign right there and a subtraction sign there. So it's going to be seven. All right. So guys, please. Is that it? Yeah. All right, so guys, that's the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, favorite, and subscribe. And be expecting more in a general programming area later on. All right.